Went to bed last night, there was a, a, a monohull on a mooring ball there, and now it's over there on anchor. There's no mooring ball. I wonder what's happened. It can only be that um, the mooring ball broke or something. So I found out what happened, and what happens is there's a concrete block down the bottom with a hole through it and a chain that goes round. Then there's a shackle which then attaches to the rope which then attaches to our boat. So the company that put the mooring ball in didn't put seizing wire or a zip tie to hold the bolt to go through because what's happened is it's unspun out, come off and then the whole boat and the, and the rope and the mooring ball just started floating away and going down that way. Luckily they were still awake. They were lucky that they actually floated out that way instead of touching the reef or coming onto the uh, sandy island here. It's a little bit worrying. It was at 10 o'clock and suddenly they noticed that was a boat right next to them and they drifted up and they were almost going to touch the boat which was further out. So they went to the front of the boat and noticed that the mooring ball was still attached to the boat but the bottom of the mooring ball wasn't attached to the um, big uh, concrete block which was over that way so uh, they drifted out. That's why we always put an anchor alarm on because if if that had happened at two, three o'clock in the morning, they would have known. They could have just drifted off and hit the reef, hit the beach, hit a boat, or gone out to sea. And so that's why we always put an anchor alarm on. So if it goes off, we know that there's something there might be an issue. So so let me explain about the anchor arm that we use. What happens is we find where we want to anchor. Kim is guiding me along until she finds somewhere where she wants to drop the anchor. She says, when she says here, I stop and she starts dropping it. Then what I do is I will hit my navigation, hit safe anchor. Up comes this page. As soon as it hits the, hits the floor, I will come into here and anchor in the current location. And then I will I'll activate it. So what happens then is this green line comes around. So that means that we're safe in the, the allotted distance around from the anchor. And I can make it bigger up to 55 or make it smaller. I have it at 45. I've activated this circle and that's a 45 meters from the where the anchor drops. And what happens is that, that's my safety margin. But as we go back, Kim, will, Kim and I will be releasing the chain and the boat will move and if we let, let out 35 metres I've still got 10 metres where if we start dragging it will go into and then it will, the alarm will come on. Kim says we put 35 metres out I then put 10 metres on then that just just an extra safety margin because the GPS isn't going to be exact to the exact metre on this one and um, so you know it's it, it's it's not perfect in the distance that we'll be from, so where the anchor is from to where we are. So I give it that little bit extra. Also, is if a gust of wind comes and the, we move, the boat moves back a bit, the chain comes up off the ground and it moves like that. I don't want to be running around every 10 minutes coming up here because the, the alarm goes off. But if I know if I've given it 10 meters and the alarm goes off, I know something is drastically wrong or could be wrong. We could be dragging and the alarm has gone off and we haven't dragged, it's just blown us and we've moved slightly in a different way and the GPS is off maybe slightly. So that's why I give a safety margin of about 10 meters or 30 feet. I have a safety margin of 10 meters. That's what I've worked out over the time that I'm, I'm comfortable with. You can set it if you put out 35 meters of chain, put 35 meters um, distance out and work it out. The alarm, the alarm will, should go off. One, you know it works. Also, then you think, okay, well, I need to extend it. Extend it by five meters. If it goes off again in 10 minutes, you know that you need to extend it again because you, and you check that you haven't dragged or anything. And then, so you have to do what you're happy with. I like the anchor alarm just in case we're dragging. Sometimes people don't realize they're dragging at night and then something bad happens. But when we have the anchor alarm, it beeps and me and my parents wake up and then we could go sort it out. That's true. Yeah. Thank you. That's great. For a limited time only, we've got a special price on all our guides and the link is here or here. It's going to save you thousands of dollars and hours and hours of heartache that we've been through. Gain over seven years of tips, tricks, know-hows and must-knows so you can become a confident sailing cruiser.
Click the link to find out more. Check it out. It'd be well worth it. Okay, so that's it. See you next week.